Hello guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at AWS HTTP API Gateways feature, API Throttling. API Throttling, or Rate Limiting, is an important part of any API. In fact, it's a security feature of the API, because it limits the amount of requests a user can make for a given amount of time. It protects from a distributed denial of service attacks, and it also ensures your API can deal with a horde of potential users in case your API gets popular. Implementing API throttling from scratch requires some work, so it is very convenient that uh, AWS API Gateway has this feature out of the box. HTTP API Gateway throttling has the following features. The throttles are applied on a best effort basis and should be thought as a targets rather than guaranteed request ceilings. API Gateway throttles requests to your API using the token bucket algorithm, so you gotta set both burst and rate limits. Well, rate limit is obvious, you know, how many requests per second. A burst limit is how many concurrent requests. API Gateway responds with a 429, too many requests when the limit is reached. And you can set target limits for API stages or specific API routes. Accounts throttling limits are set by AWS, are shared by all the APIs. So meaning if you are not protecting your API with the throttling, the throttle limits are still applied to your API uh, gateway and they will come from the default account settings. Let's take a look how to implement throttling uh, for HTTP API gateway. All right, so we are in the API gateway and we can click on the Lambda API service or gateway. We go to throttling and right here, we need to select the stage, right? We only, our stage is default, we click select. And now we have a, uh, selections for th throttling. First, we have a route level throttling, right? And this is settable through the CLI, right? Uh, and I'm gonna show you how to do it later. Now we have a default route throttling for the stage, right? And then we also have an account throttling. As you can see, account throttling has default limits of 5,000 as a burst limit and 10,000 as, as a rate limit. And you cannot change it unless, I guess, if you call AWS and ask them to raise it. But what we're interested in is the default route throttling for this stage, right? We can click edit, obviously change your burst limit and the rate limit, and I put just five and two, so we can get 429s pretty quickly, and then you can click save, right? And you can set your burst limit and uh, rate limit anywhere up to 5,000 on the burst limit and 10,000 on the rate limit. All right, let's go ahead and uh, test the API. I'm in a VS Code and I'm gonna use OHA to stress test the API. So we're gonna have uh, 500 requests and uh, with a concurrency of 10 requests per second, right? And we're gonna call in the API gateways and point health Z because it's not protected. So let's do it. Well, as you can see, we started getting a lot of 429s right here. Only 105 uh, requests got through. And uh, for the most part, this is the response time and it comes from the API gateway. So it's pretty fast. Now let's take a look what we get in the response headers, right? So in the response headers, we really get too many requests and nothing else. Uh, and also body of the message, uh, JSON, too many requests. So there is no leaky bucket algorithm. It doesn't tell you, you know, how many uh, requests or seconds you need to wait to make another request. So basically it's just gonna be a exponential back off algorithm for the API client to actually figure out, you know, to get through. Uh, as I said, yeah, it's not very, you know, sophisticated or flexible. Uh, rate limiting or throttling but in general you know um, taking into account that you have to do zero coding here i mean it's it's pretty useful it's pretty good now let's take a look how to enable route throttling per specific route in order to create api throttling for a certain route specific route we need to use this command aws api gateway v2 update stage and we're going to put api id right here then we're going to put stage name and we only have one stage default and then we can get route settings where we specify the route the route is called get health z and we'll put throttling limit uh, burst limit of 50 and let's say throttling rate limit 100 why not and then uh, you may uh, as well specify the region uh, us west too right so now let's try it and here we got the response so it looks like everything worked and let's go ahead and take a look at it in uh, aws console now you can see that this route shows up uh, with the limits in the route settings, right? Now you can click on it and actually later on, you can edit it manually in a console. All right, then this is how you set uh, API throttling for HTTP API gateway. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.